I had no idea that Jay-Z has been around since the 1920s. The Great Gatsby, directed by Baz Luhrmann, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Carey Mulligan, Joel Edgerton, Tobey Maguire. Uh, it's an adaption of the classic, classic novel, of which I am actually a fan. And it pretty much tells the story of Nick Carraway, played by Tobey Maguire, who moves in next to Jay Gatsby, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, and who has kind of all these parties. He gets drawn into the mystery of Gatsby's life. Now, as I said, I am a huge fan of the book, and this... I don't want to fuel the argument that the books are always better than the movies, because that's rarely true, actually. In general, I find the movies to be better, but this was one of the cases when the book was just so much better. Mainly, it's because of the director, Baz Luhrmann, who I am just not a fan of at all. Like, a couple of his movies, Romeo plus Juliet, I just didn't like. Moulin Rouge, I hated. So his, just, his style is just so in-your-face, it's flashy, everything's loud and annoying, and just doesn't work for me. It might work for some people, but I just don't like it. Now, this flashiness and like the fireworks, the loud music, this works really well for Gatsby's parties. They're supposed to be crazy, intense, the best parties ever. But it doesn't work for the quiet, emotional scenes. Back to the party. The soundtrack was probably Lerman's best choice because he did use, as many people have kind of been confused about, modern music, a lot of rap, uh, Jay-Z, that song Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey. Um, all of that was in the movie. And a lot of people didn't like this choice. They thought, like, why the hell is he using rap music? And I thought it worked very well, because if you actually think about it, if Lerman is supposed to be portraying these crazy parties and they're just playing, like, saxophone music in the back, you're going to be significantly less pumped for the parties. It was, the script, it was, like, it was faithful to the source material. Like, it was a pretty good, like, adaption as far as the script goes, but something about it, it was just not there. It didn't have the magic of the book, and I can't really put my finger on it. Leonardo DiCaprio, however, was great. He was a really good encapsulation of Jay Gatsby. Joel Edgerton as Tom Buchanan, he was really, really good. I like Joel Edgerton a lot. He's a pretty underrated actor, in my opinion. The, the, other, the other half of the main cast, however, I had the opposite reaction. Tobey Maguire... I haven't liked you in anything since Spider-Man, honestly. It's like... He's annoying. He's just annoying to me, and I... A lot of this movie, I can't pin down why I don't like it. It was just, for some reason, I just didn't like it. And uh, Carrie Mulligan as Daisy Buchanan, I did not like her at all. She was kind of just like, eh, just like floating around the entire time. And they kind of made her character deeper than she was supposed to be. Like, she's supposed to be a shallow character if you read the book. She's not really supposed to have as much depth as they tried to make her have. And even with the depth they tried to give to her, she didn't pull it off. So yeah, in the end, just a lot of things about this movie just didn't come together well for me. I was not a huge fan of it. It was a big letdown from the book. I'm going to give The Great Gatsby a C+. Alright, next review will be American Hustle. See you later.